Hello YouTubers, subscribers and friends, welcome to my channel. Well today I'm going to start working on these beach cruiser bikes here. Um, as of right now this seat is giving me problems trying to get it off. It's pretty rough. It's completely loose but it still doesn't want to come off. And uh, these wheels, I'm going to take the tires off and put these wheels in the CL CLR and uh, see if I can save these wheels. And uh, leave it about a week inside the CLR. I'm also going to do the same uh, with the forks around the forks and these handlebars underneath the tape here. Some rust, so I'm going to take this black tape off and put the handlebars in there too. And uh, that chain also. So we'll see in about a week if the CLR works. Try these crankcase uh, pedals too. And uh, I'm really excited that I got this bike here because I love this body style. Beach cruisers. Good way to get some good exercise. Here's a look at the uh, gooseneck too. Pretty roast, uh, rusted. We'll get that in the CLR and we'll see if we can save this stuff. If not, I'll just have it uh, sand it down and probably paint over it. Okay, I finally got the Seat. Oh, what's that? It's sonic booms. Finally got the seat off. Boy, man, that thing put up a fight. Uh, probably because there's an indention right there and it was stuck on that. I was prying it with the screwdriver and everything. And this seat post, boy, they don't want to come out either. Same thing with this gooseneck. So I got some uh, liquid ranch sprayed in there, let that soak. And this is what happens to your tires in the Arizona sun. When you leave your bikes outside to sit for a long time, this thing is really, really crusted and really hard as a rock. And uh, I have no idea what size tire this is. But uh, I don't think this is savable. Uh, it's got some riding there already chipped off. Yeah, I don't think you can restore this thing. This thing is. It's gone. Let's kick the bucket. So I'll be throwing this in the recycle bin. And I'll work on the next one. Meanwhile, let's go look at the sun at the rail. This is a pretty skinny wheel for a beach cruiser, I think. It's all rusted. I'll put this in the water. I already put the seat, the whole seat inside there. I'll come out tomorrow and I'll twist, flip that around. I'm going to take the other one off and I'm going to take the crank pedals off and then I'll start on that one. I won't be putting this seat in though because this is looks fine but everything else I'll take apart on that. This tube looks good still. I don't know I'm gonna pump it up to see if it has a hole in it. But this thing is really thick. I have the tire size right here. 26 by 18 that's what I have over here on this uh, at a blowout here that's a 26 too same size I'm going to test this too if this tube works I'm going to put it in that tire because I got a flat on that one then I got tires over here too this front tire and I got two back tires on that mountain bike that you know I can take those off if I can't find any good deals on Craigslist or eBay I'll get back to work here here's a good thing about having a water tank water tub you can check for leaks in the tube. I pump this tube up and it doesn't appear to have any leaks that I can hear. So I'll put in this tub of water here. And see if there's any leaks. Nothing yet. So I may I got patches if there is. I may be able to recycle this tube. Good sign. See, I just saved some money having to buy a tube. And then that other beach cruiser that my kids ride, or I was riding when I put a flat on it. I've gone completely around and there is there are no holes. 
All right, so let me just leave this to dry over there. And uh, this weekend, I just want to stay right there. This weekend, I will repair this one. On to more work. All right, here's a before look of the crank crank arms. I'll put these into the CLR also. Uh, that chain link, uh, or that chain doesn't have a link to uh, take that chain out, so I will not be able to save that chain. And that seat post, it uh, doesn't want to come out, but it goes down easily. So, still trying to get this handlebars off too. It's putting up a fight. But uh, that other second tube, same thing, nothing wrong with it. Pumped it up, tested for leaks, it's holding air about 15 20 minutes now. So that's another good if tire uh, tube I don't have to buy. Once I get them handlebars off and gooseneck and forks, I'm going to throw them into the CLR and uh, come out, rotate it every day for about a week and see what happens. See if I can save the metal on this bike. I don't think I'm going to soak the frame. I'm going to have to grind that chain up though. I'm going to have to buy another chain. They run about 10 bucks. But uh, that's where I'm at on that. And oops, looks like I lost my end of my handlebars. I think those in here. There you have it. As far as my drift trike goes, I'm stuck. I can't move forward because I need to have this stuff welded. So I'm trying to find a real, really cheap welder or someone to do it for me, a favor for me. But uh, that's where I'm at on that. I haven't given up on it. I'm just taking a break because I can't move forward. I've tried all my ideas and they've all failed. So it has to be welded. But as for this beach cruiser here, I'm almost done. And I will start on that one. And uh, start the experiment once again. Beach cruiser chrome removal experiment part one. I'm going. Go.